Promise fix light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Hello there, and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our Scripture Breakdown Ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Ephesians 4, verse 5 and 6. Um, Ephesians 4, 5, 5 and 6 is a continuation of Ephesians 4, 3 and 4. Now, here he says, One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all, and you in you all. I repeat, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Now, I want to divide the scripture into several parts of about five. And it says, from the, from the preceding scripture, that is Ephesians 4, verse three, 2 and 3, he spoke about one body and one spirit, then goes ahead to speak about one hope of the calling. And here is a continuation because he said one Lord. One Lord, that means God is one. That means we only have one God who is the creator of the heavens and earth, who is the I am that I am, who is the king of kings, who is the ruler of the universe, the one that created mankind in his own image and likeness. So that is our creator. That is the Alpha and the Omega. That is El Elyon. That is the I am that I am. That is Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Jairi. That is Jehovah Rapha. So he says one Lord. And that is God. Then he goes ahead and says one faith. One faith speaks about you not reverencing anybody. You not reverencing anybody other than, than this God which you reverence. The Bible in Hebrew says, without faith is impossible to please God. That he that comes to God must believe that he is. That is conviction. That is the deep conviction. And that can also be referred to as faith. That he is and he is again. That is another he is, the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So it speaks about one faith. Then it speaks about one baptism. One baptism is baptism of water, which was first initiated by John the Baptist. Then one baptism also speaks about baptism of the fire, baptism of the person of the Holy Spirit. That is acceptance of the Holy Spirit through after the rebirth of your spirit, you accept the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit continues to guide you and lead you on the journey. The Holy Spirit continues to lead you to the good parts of which God has in store for you. Then he speaks about one God. Again, he reiterates about one God who is Jehovah Nisi, who is the I am that I am, the King of Kings. And this God is Jehovah Nisi, is always referred to as a father, El Elyon, the one Jehovah Rapha, a healer, Jehovah Mexikedek. Jehovah Shikenu, Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace. Then he says, who is above all? So this God is above all. This God is the king of all kings on earth. This God is the God of any God you want to think of. This God is the God of mankind. This God is only one. So he said, who is above all? He speaks about God, that God is above all everything god is above everything you want to reverence in the spirit realm in the physical in the spiritual god is ubiquitous god is everywhere god is omnipresent the omnipotent the omni signs god is the all-knowing god and therefore because of that he has been given a rank and he has given an authority that is above all then he said and through all through all speaks about that through him all can be better through him all everything was created through him everything was brought and spoken into existence then he said and in you all that means in you is that god who is the person of the holy spirit who comes down and relates to you 
who comes down in all his awesomeness, in all his holiness, in all his mightiness, in all his greatness, in all his hugeness. He comes down and reverence you and domiciles in you. And therefore, you walk after the similitude of him. You walk after the nature of Christ. You tend towards that nature. You tend towards that God who is perfect and who is he you relate to and who is he you walk with and who is he you reference and who is he you move with and who is he you you go with. Now to pray that God continues to expand our hearts on this word, that God opens our minds and continues to bestow upon us revelations upon revelations on the ways of continuing with Him in the journey and in the walk with Him so that we'll be able to attain our destiny and fulfillment of our destiny. Now I want to pray that God expands our hearts to receiving this word every day and continue to know him all is I ask through Jesus Christ our Lord I thank you so much for listening and God bless I also want to say that you have any comments and any questions just call me by text or call me by email and the email address is the tube ministry at gmail.com that is the tube ministry at gmail.com i thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless god bless in jesus name